my name is Yasmina and welcome back to my channel. I make weekly videos here all about books, book recommendations and writing advice and my writing journey. So if that sounds like something interesting to you, please stay tuned. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to format your manuscript in Word. And I'm talking about official manuscript format, the kind you can send to agents, mentors during pitch wars or any other kind of mentoring or pitching contest. So this is the industry standard way in which to format your book and send to other people to read. I have personally done this many, many times. I have queried before, I have submitted to various mentoring competitions. And so, so at this point, it's very quick and easy for me to do. So I decided to share it with you guys. So it might become quick and easy for you as well, because I know when I first started doing this, I had to search on the internet how to do it. And it was very complicated. It seemed very complicated at first. So I'm going to try to make it as easy and digestible as possible for you so you can follow along. Once you know how to do it, it really doesn't take time at all and it's very easy and you can have a template set up in that specific format and then when you need to add a new book you can just add the text inside of that template and then format it that way and you'll never have to worry about it again but I'm gonna show you step by step how to format your manuscript in Microsoft Word and so if you want to learn how to do that please stay tuned we're gonna swap over to my computer and I'm gonna show you there step by step all right, so here we are in a word and I just opened like the default template of whatever a word has. Um, it doesn't really matter. We're going to change pretty much everything and I'm going to show you how and things like that. Okay. So, and I just added some lorem ipsum uh, text here. So we have something to work with. If you don't know what lorem ipsum text is, then uh, you never worked with software before, but it's basically just the default text um, that you can use as a placeholder. So that's what I have here. And then I have some things that I will talk about later, but just added some, you know, generic book title, things like that. Okay. The first thing we're going to tackle is the document or the page size and margins. Okay. To do that, you go to file and page setup. And here you can set the size of the document and it's usually A4 or US letter, but I'm going to go with A4 just because I'm in Europe and that's kind of the standard here. And then if you click in here and click on Microsoft Word, here you can see the margins. So we need to go into that to set the correct margins. Uh, okay. So I can see here that the margins are actually already set to the correct default, which is 2.54 centimeters or one inch. Okay. So depending on which uh, measurement type you use, if you're American, I assume you're going to use inches and that is one inch on all sides. So top, bottom, left, and right all need to be exactly one inch or 2.54 centimeters. And then you apply that to the whole document. So this is actually already set up for us. Okay. Now we're going to tackle the text itself. So as for the text, you have a few options of fonts. The safest one is Times New Roman. Okay. So Times New Roman regular, but you might also be able to use Courier or Arial. So these three Times New Roman, Courier and Arial are sort of the industry standards and you can pick whichever, but, but the most used and the most sort of default one is Times New Roman, which is what I use. Okay. And we're, so we're going to select all and then switch everything to Times New Roman. And now as for font size, you want the text, the body text of the manuscript to be 11 or 12 point regular. Okay. Not smaller or bigger, but again, just to be safe, we can do 12 point. Okay. The next thing is justification of the text and you always want to align to the left. Okay. So not justified um, or centered or anything like that. You're going to click on the left, the most left option here, which is left justified or aligned to the left. Okay. Now we're going to separate things here. So I'm going to put a chapter break. So insert break chapter break after this. Okay. Because in manuscripts you want to have a sort of welcome page or a title page. Okay. And you want this to be in the center and roughly halfway down the page. Um, you don't have to be like incredibly precise with this, but just sort of roughly in the middle of the page, you want this information. Okay. Now this information should be single spaced and it should include the title of your book. You can have it in capitals or not. It doesn't really matter. It should include the number of words of your manuscript. It should include your author name 
or pen name. And if you have both, you can do you know author name uh, writing as pen name. Okay. You don't always necessarily have to disclose like your actual name, but just know that you can do that. And then extra information usually is maybe your address, your phone number, um, your email. Um, maybe if you have a website, you would do, you know, author com something like that okay and so this is kind of the standard information that you would want in a title page and then you start with the actual text okay so I'm gonna select everything from here to the end because the actual text of your manuscript so everything that is the actual novel and not any extra information should be double spaced okay so you go into here and you select two so now everything is double spaced, all right? So this is what the text should look like in terms of spacing. Now remember this here is single spaced, but the actual text of the novel should be double spaced. This is kind of a really important thing. Um, it's one of sort of the main manuscript settings. So you definitely don't want to do anything weird here. So always remember double spaces. Okay, the next thing is indentation. Yes, the fun indentation. So to indent, you go into here and you click line spacing option. The important thing here is the first lines. Okay, so you want the first line of every paragraph to be indented by about half an inch. So here we have the default 1.27 centimeters and I'm just gonna do a quick conversion and yes apparently this is half exactly half an inch. Okay, so it's either half an inch or one 0.27 centimeters um, that's for the first line of every paragraph okay okay so we've selected first line and then left this as default but of course if it's not half an inch or 1.27 then you can change that and line spacing double and we're going to apply that to the entire document okay so this is starting to look much better all right now the chapters the chapters should be in the middle of the page and they should be roughly a third of the way down the page. So again, you don't have to be super precise with this. You can if you want, like you can look at the paragraph numbers and make sure they're always the same number of paragraphs, but roughly a third of the way down. And you should always start new chapters on a new page. And so if this, for example, okay, let me actually do it a different way. So let's say we want to add a new chapter here. We would insert break page break okay and start a new chapter align in the middle and then roughly uh, uh, that's a bit too much roughly a third of the way down the page okay and as for the space between the chapter heading and the text i would say maybe about two two spacings there so you can see you know it again this isn't super important but uh, just have some spacing uh, between the chapter title and the actual text is all I will say all right another thing you might encounter in a manuscript are scene breaks now if you want a scene break there should be no extra space between paragraphs but there should be a hash a hashtag which you will center Okay, so you can see there's no extra spacing in here. It's just the, you know, the standard sort of double spacing, but you're not going to like insert and like, like here, like this and enter and then another enter. Okay, you just want one extra line on which you will add this hash symbol. Uh, another thing to mention is that you can have italicized words if you want to emphasize something and you can do that with italics. So you just want to select whichever you want um, to be emphasized and then just italicize it. That's all. Just try not to have too much of that because it is a bit distracting. Okay, but don't do weird things like underline or strike through or anything like that. Just italics. All right, another thing you need to set up is the page number and header of every page. Okay, so you want to insert a header. So if you double click on like the top of the page, you will have the option to add a header. And for that, you would need a couple of things. So first of all, you need a page number. Okay, so you can click on here, page number, page number. Um, and let's say you want to align it on the right side. Doesn't really matter, but yeah. Uh, start at one and then yes. So that is page one. Okay, then you should have your book title. So book title, then you're gonna have a slash your name, 
It doesn't have to be your full name, your first name or initial of your first name dot your last name, just something. This goes back to when manuscripts were handed in um, in actual physical form, so on paper, and the idea is if, for example, people would misplace uh, some of your pages or the pages would go out of order, uh, you find a random page somewhere, then you can see, okay, which book is this from, what author is this from, and what page number is this from, so you can put it back in order. So that's where it comes from, but it's just a standard thing. And then you want to have another slash, and that would be the, um, and then you kind of want to align it to the right, okay? So you have book title, author name, and page number. Um, optionally, people sometimes have, for example, author author at author.com, right? So, you know, your email address on the other side. It's not necessary, so I'm not going to include it. But this information should also be in the same font, okay? So make sure you check that so that this is also Times New Roman and 12 point, okay? So that you have the same thing. And the actual page number as well, change it to the right form, okay? Another thing about the page number is this, which you can see here. You see it starts at one on the title page. We don't want that, we want it to start from here. Okay, so in order to fix this, and in order to make the numbering start from one, you have to delink the previous page. The problem was that this page was linked to previous, or I should say this page was linked to the previous page. So the problem is this was activated, so you kind of want to deactivate link to previous, and then it will start from where you want it to start, and then it's one, two, three, and it goes on like that, okay? So that's all for the header. Okay, so actually now this is everything. So this looks fine. So you have your title page and then you have the actual start of the manuscript with the nice header and the page number and then the first chapter. You have a scene break here, okay, and you have another chapter here and it just goes on like that. So this is the most standard way in which you can submit your manuscript. Now, if you're submitting to an agent or publishing house, please, please, please do check, always check their submission guidelines because although rarely, they might have different specifications and always make sure to follow the specific specifications of the agent and or publishing house that you're submitting to because sometimes they might differ from the standard but this is the most standard possible way to send a manuscript in and so you know you shouldn't be in any trouble submitting it this way but just in case the specific agent or publishing house has something different that they want um, always check that but yeah that's actually um, about it. Also, I will leave a link to Google Docs document down in the description made by the lovely Sarah Nichols um, that has all of this information in that document and it's actually formatted in the correct way. So if you didn't follow along to this video and you want to have a document, yeah, I did not make this, but Sarah Nichols did and it's awesome. So I will leave a link to that in the description. So check that out um, if you need it. So let's go back to past me as I do an outro for this video. So there you have it. That's how you format a manuscript in Microsoft Word. And well, you can also do it in Google Docs, I suppose, if you so want. But of course, I showed you in Microsoft Word. Um, I hope this was easy and comprehensive for you and I hope you can follow along. And again, if you do it once, then I think it's pretty easy to just do it over and over again. You just have to learn this one time. And so I really hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions on the subject, do leave them in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer. And if you want to see more writing tutorials from me regarding any kind of software or app or any kind of subject, also leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to make those videos for you guys. And if you're looking to format a manuscript, then I also assume you have finished a manuscript. So congratulations, that is such a big step. And honestly, it is the hardest step. Once you do that, trust me, you can do anything. So if you want, also let me know a little bit about what you're working on, uh, the book that you just finished that you wanted to transform into a manuscript and maybe send to agents, maybe send to publishers, send to mentors, whatever it is. Um, if you want to share that, share it in the comment section below and we can, we can talk about that because that's always a very, very exciting time, I know, and sometimes it's hard to find people to actually share that excitement with in your real life. Okay, but that is it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with a new video. Bye!